Hello there. My name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing Insomnia the Ark. Now this game reminds me actually quite a lot of Fallout 1 and 2. The old school games, you guys know I love those games. Imagine Fallout 1 and 2 but without the turn-based combat, with action combat in a sci-fi universe. This is what this game looks like. I've not played it yet. But it looks really cool and I'm excited to actually sink my teeth into this one. Unfortunately though guys, this game is not actually out yet. If you like what you see in this video though, I've got a link at the top of the description to their Steam page. Check out the trailer there because that's also really cool. Gives you an idea of what the game's like. But I just want to say thank you so much to the developers for sponsoring this video. Giving me early access to the beta so I can show you guys this game. Because I'm actually really excited to play it. So let's just get started. Here we go guys. Watching this rattlebrain triumph of strength and industry erected by consumptives, the more I miss the reservation's stinking tunnels. The feeling of ever eluding dead end inspires me, same way as the poor fools of Herb are inspired by the idea of this long journey reaching its goal someday, and all of us starting a new life on a new planet. Any smeared corridor in the dump is way more reliable than this new home fable. At least you can lean against the wall there if you're shot. That's our difference from the herbborn. We don't waste time contemplating the stars, but we can tell fortunes by the mud under our feet. It reminds you of the storyteller, like the voice actor. Oh, I'm getting the feeling already. Is the phone ringing? Approach the cat terminal. W-A-S-D, okay. Answer the phone. <laughs> oh, that was F. <laughs> Select on an answer by pressing one. Turn the speaker on, okay. Now, just so you guys know, before we get into this, the developer has told me that this is early access. It's in beta. So a lot of the things in the game are gonna change. They're gonna be improved. For the release date in September, these things include combat mechanics, animations, English voiceovers for loudspeakers because currently they're in Russian and lots of other little bits and bobs. So what you see in this video will give you an idea of how the game is, how it plays, but obviously it's not the final finished product which comes out in September. The terminal admits a grunt and addresses you with a voice you know quite well, a voice dripping with mock enthusiasm. Typha, how's life treating you buddy? You called to ask about my well-being? I assume that's out of character for you sir. Well, you know me, it's nothing as important to me as the well-being of my boys. So, what was I? Ah, yes, I needed a strong lad for a rather important job. Interested? Uh, I guess I could go for a little walk, why not? Great, so, here's the deal. I'll keep it short and sweet. I need you to deliver some valuable cargo to the perimeter. Old Man Hastil will be waiting for you at the drugstore. You get the container from him and deliver it to the commissioner, Farkar. Farka. Hastir will fill you in on the rest of the details. Sorry if I mispronounce any of these names, I'm a little bit dyslexic. The perimeter is well secured, how is this going to work exactly? Yeah, it doesn't ring a bell, who's this guy I'm delivering it to? Come on, he was with my guys when they dragged you out of the brawl down the rusty arena. Hastir owns the workshop on Glory Square. Real handy that guy, he can fix anything. Aside from his own broken back. Okay, well the perimeter wall is well secured, how is this going to work exactly? I notified the right people, but it doesn't mean that you won't need to use your talents. It's not like I'm paying you for nothing. True story. So you're working with the Herb Customs now. It looks like I missed out on a lot. Let's just say my business has grown a bit. Sorry about not notifying you. Okay, I've always held you in high regard for your mental acumen. I'll get in touch when I find that delivery has been made, and don't worry, you get your pay. An abrupt click disconnects you. Okay, so we've got our first quest. Look at how good this look. Oh my god, I love the look of it already. I just want to go and explore everything. Look at this. This is the most trampy bed I've ever seen in my life. All the booze bottles and it's a proper like man cave. It's like we've just moved into the wife's garage and never left. Okay, let's open the refrigerator. Comet Cryic. A light alcoholic beverage made with the synthetic ingredients. It's among the cheapest beverage available. <laughs> I'm a poor man. I've also got a, a burger and a flask of water. 
Oh, this is my backpack. Okay, so I put the burger in there. This gives me regen. Oh my god, this is going to be one of those complex games, isn't it? Alright, let's go. Oh, the radio. Oh no, it is in English. Maybe just some of the radios don't have voiceovers. Approach the cabinet to take your things. Who's this guy? I don't like him. He's holding a machete and waving it around like a drunk. Oh, look at the armor. Oh, this looks great. How do I equip this? Okay, so broth. I guess this looks like a health regen. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's cool. They've got like lore for all the items. Yeah, I'm already liking this. And I am a currently a mealy person. A heavy sword made by Typher from the blade and old ventilation turbine. Its long handle allows one to deal a powerful blow with two hands when needed. Okay, if I open my inventory, and we can equip this. Oh, look at that. Bad boy. Oh, this is awesome. So I get primary weapon and shield. Additional weapon. There's lots of equipment slots here. Pick up the sword. Free. Okay. Let me draw my weapon. Light. Left click to light attack. Hold left click to deal a heavy blow. Yeah, it makes sense. Challenge the crab master to friendly showdown. Okay, let's go. Here comes our champion. Are you ready to fight for your title against the crab master? What kind of gibberish is this? <laughs> Come on, play along, will you? I throw insults at you and your sword, and you say something about my weapon or armor. It's the custom. Okay, hold on a minute. What the hell are you doing here? Yeah, literally, this is my exact feeling. You don't mind if I practice a bit over here, do you? I think you said I could come over whenever I wanted. I mean, sure, you were a bit drunk at the time, but, well, I don't recall inviting the Crab Master into my bedroom. The Anniversary Kravenar Tournament is just around the corner, and I haven't been able to find a better partner than you. All right, let's just fight. Maybe I can join this tournament later. The Sewer Knight and the Crab Master are back in business. Why am I the Sewer Knight? Begin training. Right click to, uh, oh, this combat, look at that. Oh, it's actually like you proper feel the blows when they get hit. I want to try and block. Yep, there we go. Come at me, bro. Oh, he lunged at me there. Dodge blows by pressing space A and D. Oh, okay, okay. Come at me. I'm going to try and dodge him. Come at me, bro. Oh, you tried. To oh, I can kick too. Boom. Oh, 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 he hit me there. Get Rex up. Hey, bud, no need to turn me into mint. I say you still got it, yeah. I think there's quite, it's quite a sophisticated combat system, though, like a live action system. Whoa, 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 I did not mean to do that. Sorry, bro. Look at him. He's just holding this shiv like a badass. The crab master. I kind of want to go around and explore everything, but... Oh, what's this? Examine poster. They've got so much artwork. And, like... I feel like they've really gone into detail with, like, the lore and the backstory of the game. Hello? What's, what's this? This infobot was a present from an eccentric friend of yours. The original model has had a serious upgrade. Sometimes you think it's more of a downgrade. It looks like a creepy face, though. What is this? <laughs> So you had your morning drink already? Time to do a bit of shooting. Mr. Happy Alcoholic. The gun and ammo are on the stand next to the shooting range. So I am just an alcoholic right now. All right, let's go and practice. This is cool. I'm already in love with the world, the aesthetic. It looks really good. Okay, let's take the shotgun. God, I'm so glad you guys contacted me about this game. Okay, how do I... Okay, rifle. So I put my sword away. Oh, I've put, got to equip it. Okay, right. And that's my primary weapon. And I just leave this in my uh, bag, I guess, the ammo cartridges. So let's whip out my primary gun. Got to load it up. Look at that. Oh. Reloading. Right click, hold to aim. Okay. Boom. Follow. Okay, we're done. We're done here. I hit the target. You can shoot your gun. You're done. No more target practice for you. 
Where are you going? Wasting my time again, yes? I do look at my built-in timer quite often. What did you expect? Listen, what the hell? Do you never stop talking? <laughs> okay, let me just adjust something. Change imputance level. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I don't know what imputance is. Let me Google it. The meaning. Cambridge English Dictionary. Rude and not showing respect. So I can change the level of how rude he is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> No, leave it as it is. I want him to be rude to me. Okay, let's let's keep following you. <laughs> what is this game? All right, let's let's head off. You cannot use weapons in certain locations. Okay, I guess I'm like just on the streets right now. Let's go downstairs. Leave location. Yes. My first impressions are great. I think this is really interesting so far. Okay, what's this? Is that an elevator? Don't know. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at this world, man. Let's go back down. It's got so many levels to it. Oh, what's going on over there? It looks like there's an execution behind the barrier. Can you guys see that? Oh, my God, these are clearly like the bad mans of the world. Let's chat to Scorch. I feel like he's got a quest for us. A bum is concentrated on watching the flame in the fuel barrel and mutters disgruntedly under his breath. Are you okay? You think you'd be all right after escaping a swarm of ostrich leeches? What the hell is an ostrich leech? Beast from the father reaches out of the junkyard, fat but relatively fast bastards. Their venom is added to several kinds of crike. Ostrich leeches climb on top of you and suck all your guts right out of your belly. They almost got my partner. What happened to your friend then? Where is he? We went out hunting together. One of the leeches scratched him. It's not the first time. He'll be fine. Does he need some help? It's not that easy, my friend. Only tangy coral that grows at the bottom of the rusty lake can cure him. And the passage on that lake is guarded by headless walkers. Sounds like a terrible place I've walked into here, guys. Let me guess. How are you going to ask me to get the coral? Yeah. Are you serious? This dumbass here is just drunk and I was talking shit the whole time. <laughs> Oh my god, I got played for a fool. I don't understand why there's a quest marker above his head then. Stormtrooper. With a metal tin can on his head. 10 out of 10 protection. Let's speak to this soldier boy. Oh, he's in Russian. Okay, so some of it I can't actually read because it's in Russian still. That's clearly something that's going to change when the game comes out. My character has skill points, survivability, endurance, explosives... Battle skill perks. Oh my god. And I have skill points. There's also achievements. Character. Oh my god. There's so much stuff to do. Alright. Back to business. This is the quest we've currently got to go and do. So apparently he's waiting for me near the pharmacy at the reservation exit. Let's have a look on the map. Oh, there's also a grayed out icon for team as well. That's interesting. Okay, so the pharmacy is just straight ahead. Turn right. There's no like... um. As far as I can see, there's not like an objective on the map at the moment. So I guess it's one of those games you actually have to pay attention and look around. Oh, I got, I've not got much stamina though. I'm a bit of a, a fat boy. Oh, sick. Is that power armor? What? This guy means business. Standing right next to the commander smoking the s*** right there. Right. Oh, okay. Here's the pharmacy. So my, that's not who I need. Someone should be waiting for me. Ah, oh, I think that's my man, just here. A man with a grey face signals you to come closer. You hardly recognise the big, broad-shouldered guy you'd often worked with many years ago. Hey, Typha, don't tell me you don't recognise me. Don't assume everyone's forgotten about you. Sure, it's been a while, but there are still quite a few older folk who remember the bane of the mills. Yeah, yeah, let's get, let's get down to business. Broker said you've got a container for me. I still frowns and tries to shrug. I can see why they say you have a bottle for a brain. Come on, I'm just pulling your leg. How, uh, how are you feeling? <laughs> He's literally on a crutch, for God's sake. <laughs> Invariably poorly. Though, it looks like you don't have a lot of reasons to enjoy life either. Judging by the trinkets on your face, the container's right here. Take it. Damn, this is heavy. Keep it safe or broker will rip your bejeweled head right off. Haster chuckling. Alright, let's cut to the chase. Where am I supposed to deliver this box? 
Right, right, you have no idea. The container is expected in the tech hallways under the 17th perimeter section in the powerhouse. I'll give you the coordinates, you can't miss it. It seems as though the broker has decided to get rid of me. <laughs> I agree, that place isn't a lot of fun. Many security bots around there and you can easily bump into military patrols. But listen, this really isn't that bad. Brokers be known to give away more dangerous drops. What else do you know about the assignment? The recipients are very interested in everything going smoothly. I know that much. Who are these recipients? Some folk from the committee's custom service. But what does that have to do with us? What else do you know about the assignment? All right, let's change the topic. That's all I can ask. All right, I'll figure it out. Fine, fine, off you go. Use this gate, it's the shortest way. Okay, okay. Oh, right, okay, so I'm traveling to another area then. Let's go. Apparently this is a dangerous zone. We're on this huge spaceship then, I assume. Oh my god, so we can travel on the map. So I've got to find the maintenance tunnels. So currently we're here, we've got to go over here. This place is pretty big though. I wonder how many locations there are within it. Oh, what? There's actually like a fast travel system. And a time as well. And a date. Oh, okay. This game's actually a lot deeper than I realized. I wonder what happens if, like, do we get attacked on the way or something? I don't know yet. There's actually a timer, though. Okay, go down. That's interesting. So you don't just, like, fast travel to the location. There could be, like, a, an event potentially on the way. Here we are. So I don't have a lot of shotgun ammo. I probably shouldn't, like, use it all. Repair kit. Dismantle. I'm a bit of a tinkerer, you know. Energy supply. Standard batteries for high-capacity energy weapons. Oh, I'll take that later. Energy weapons, guys. Hell yeah. Apparently, they took a lot of inspiration from Fallout. But they have really, you know, clearly made an entirely new world here that's nothing like Fallout. But you can see where the inspirations come from, I guess. Pliers and more lockpicks. I'm just picking up everything at the moment. I'm one of those... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I think I've made a mistake. Holy crap. There's no way I can do anything. He's just going to kill me. <laughs> I didn't know I was stealing. Jesus Christ. Let me load. Auto save free. Please be in just where I came in. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. He got so triggered. Let me put my gun away. Okay, so I can sneak around. I don't know if it was just because I was, like, dismantling scrap that I shouldn't have, or why. Oh, now, I've, now they're iron plates, so it's randomized loot and stuff. Am I, like, not... I'm not meant to be here, then, I guess. Should I be sneaking around? Yeah, yeah. Sneak past enemies with C. Is that... Oh, C is sneak, and control is also sneak. Okay. Fair enough. There's no way you can take... I like that when there's like super powerful enemies that you just can't kill some in some games. The dangerous pass you can get up with C. Okay, great. Thanks for telling me, bro. Who's that guy then? I feel like he's also a bad man. I wonder if this guy's gonna attack me if I like walk over to him. No, he's okay. There's a load of bots around here. What's he doing, I wonder? A worker with a look of ultimate boredom plastered across his face is tracing lines and screen with his finger. Hey, what the hell are you doing out here? The patrols are out. You tired of living or something? Uh, I'm looking for the powerhouse of Sector 17. I'm unsure what kind of power it is, but uh, I need to get inside. <laughs> Tell them what we're doing. It's not far, but you won't get there. There's a lot of these birds around, thanks to me. Maybe you can turn them off while, for a while. Are you nuts? There's cameras everywhere. You know what will happen if I do that? All right, I guess he won't help us. What are you doing here? I'm allowed. I'm looking after the tunnels, checking communication lines, fixing these brackets of bolts. But it's not that bad. At least I don't have to see those soldiers that often. You like them flying cans more than people. I feel you. All right, let's let's leave him be. Can I dismantle this? Will he get triggered? He's fine with this. I think it's just because the security bot saw me when I was dismantling. There's so many different parts, like parts, simple weapon parts. So there's different parts for different things. Turn the radio off. The radio actually lit, like sounds really cool though. It sounds like quite... You get the atmosphere with the radio, even though it's all in Russian. I'm kind of looking forward to the English version. A clamp. 
used during surgical intubation. I guess that's going to come in handy for when I, I meet one of those big boys again. One second, can I go up here? No, I can't. Just a rusty ladder. All right, let's, let's carry on around here then. Oh, no, it's around this way. Oh, one sec. Can I repair this? A repair kit. I can't touch it, though. I think it's his. Examine container. What's in here? <gasps> Gunpowder. I'll put the ammo over on this side. So it's good for making am ammunition. So we can, like, craft ammo as well. This game is so deep. What's this thing here? Oh, oh, hello, Jesus Christ. No, get away. Kill it, kill it. I didn't know that thing was going to attack me. Can I, I can dismantle it though. Dismantle the security bot. Give me some batteries. What are these for? A universal single use low, pa low power source. It can be used to charge a device from a laser rifle. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to keep my sword constantly out here. So I don't think my health regens. It's just con it's going to stick there now. Okay, there's another boy up here. What is that sound? Spooky. I think my experience bar is on the top. I'm honestly not 100% sure. Let's see if we can get... Oh, he's going to spot me. Ow. I literally flinched in real life when that hit me. Go back in the video. <laughs> literally flinched. I don't think I could take too many hits like this. I've also got a carry capacity. I'm 14 out of 35. Oh yes, the dodge. Get Rex up. I don't know if he hit me the second time, but uh, Melee is fun. I feel like I need to learn to dodge though. Maybe these parts I'll sell them later or something. The jet of hot gas will kill you. I'm fine, bro. I've got this. Okay, let's turn it off then. Alright, there's a bot. <laughs> this guy literally got killed then, I guess. Getter. He's got some boots. I don't know if I have boots yet. What's up? He's also got some health. I can't seem to equip the boots yet, but they are worth like 35 gold, so I'm just going to keep them, you know. Might as well. So all these droids are repairing stuff. You don't need to destroy... Oh, Jesus Christ! You don't need to destroy the turrets. Your path flies in the other direction. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Oh, there's some ammo in here. And some cellulose. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Please! Why is everything trying to kill me down here? Okay, I'm going to have to heal myself because I'm like almost dead now. I don't know if I could have done that differently. Maybe I could have like dodged past it or something. Let's use one of these healing things. I could have actually... One sec. What if I... Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, man. And my last autosave is quite far away. Lol. Fail. Right, guys. I'm, I'm back. What I've realized, and I should have been paying attention, but there's these flashing lights and even a sign that says automatic turrets. No trespassing. I also managed to get here on full health without using any health pots. That's good. I also saved the game. And I think on the top there, that little sort of lighter line, that's my experience bar. So I figured out a few things. I've learned from my mistakes, you know. Hopefully you won't get butchered now. So I think this is the way I've got to go. We should be able to just walk around here, to be honest. I want to destroy one of those things just to see what happens. Okay, find repairs, repairs of identical keys. Open them by left clicking on the mouse. 12 seconds or 12 minutes? Pairs of identical keys. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that one was that. No, I'm really bad. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. I thought I was going to set off the alarm. Okay. Food? Yes, I'm getting lucky. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's... This hacking mini game is really fun. I actually prefer it to Fallout. Fallout takes me a while, but this this is actually fun. And like, it's hard to like memorize the digits because they're just a random series of numbers. You, I being dyslexic, I don't know if you guys do this, but I sort of like look at the pattern. I find that like the easiest way to memorize it. There's something behind it. 
Oh, look, look, there is. There's some junk. Let's search the little scrap pile. I don't know why this is a good thing, but I'm literally taking vice grips. Average price is 40. Okay, I guess I'll take that too then. So this is the generator where I'm meant to be, okay? Don't know if there's any enemy. Oh, oh, there's some boys there. Let's save the game quickly. I think these are the people I'm meant to be meeting, you know, like picking up the package, but just in case it kicks off. Oh, uh, what's this? Okay, this gives me health regeneration. I'm just going to inject myself with random stuff. Celine in... Wow, there's so much expensive stuff. I guess it's expensive. I don't really know, to be honest. Oh, you've just beaten up the security boy. Examine. I would take these. Thank you. Bye. Hello there. You see a customs officer surrounded by bodyguards with the Dahalla Division's insignia. So, when are we going to exchange the code phrases? Now? Haha, <laughs> is this guy taking a nap? I see you're not particularly interested in security. If you don't want a nap next to him, you should consider asking a few questions. Do you have the container? What is in here? It's really freaking heavy. Is Broker paying you for curiosity or something? Shut up and give me the box. Hmm, whatever you say. That's something in Russian. Keep in mind that you've made a lot of noise. The patrols are already searching the tunnels. You cannot leave the way you came in. You'll have to go through the air shaft. It's under maintenance right now. Look at this guy's face. He seems so triggered by me. <laughs> Once you pass through the second door, go straight ahead. You'll find your way from there. Go on, get moving. Back to business. Journal up task updated, okay. Look at this guy, he's like a centurion. He's got like this cool metal mask. And that shield, he's like a knight centurion. Just in this cool sci-fi world. I love his like, get up. Okay, so there's turrets over there. Gotta be careful, you know. Okay, there's some loot just there. Let's go and check this place out. Oh, a clamp. 45 average price. We should probably get rid of some of this stuff. My inventory management is terrible, guys. I feel like I've picked up loads of useless stuff. We'll find out soon, I guess. Sneak up to the enemy and silently kill him. <gasps> we can sneak attack. Yes. Where is the enemy? Um, oh, this guy. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, there was a... <laughs> the enemy was right there. He was right there. And I walked past him like, where is he? <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. I thought he was like over there in the distance. Okay, we're back. I can see, I can see him this time. <laughs> I can't believe I walked past him. That was so funny. <laughs> oh man. Silently eliminate and press E, okay. Execute. Oh. Oh, get wrecked, son. <laughs> Can I take his gun? Examine. He's got some 30 mil shells. Jesus. Handheld grenade launcher. Didn't have a grenade launcher, though. So there's another boy up there with a shield. To deal with the enemy who had a shield, push him away. Oh, so we've got to kick the shield and then we can sack him. He's definitely not moving. I want to see what happens if I try and shoot him in the head. Oh, I did a bit of damage, but not much. Right, let's let's see if we can... Oh, I wanted to dodge that. Okay, let's, let's back off. Let's back off. He's triggered. Yeah. Put your shield up, bro. He got wrecked. Okay, flask of water. Gives me some regen. Handmade bullets. Probably need some of those. So the, the gun wasn't that effective against the armoured guy, though. Maybe back down. Oh, one sec. There's a broken ventilation shaft just there. That's what he was talking about. There's no blatant quest objective in this game. Let's leave location, yes. Get me out of here. Oh, I don't know if I want to go for melee or not. Because there's quite a few different perks in the game that I seem to be able to pick. I kind of want to read through them all and make a decision what we should do next. Ah, some more junk. Let me search through this bin. <laughs> oh dear. What's this? An Echo 8. How can I fit this in my inventory? Like this. 
I need to find a shop to sell stuff. Okay, I'm back here. Oh, Jesus Christ, an assassin. Oh, apparently he's much better. Oh, my God. They have electric fist weapons. That's insane. Look at his glasses. He's too cool. The nerve ending along the entire left side of your body screams in pain overload. I don't remember making an appointment with anyone today. <laughs> your memory serves you well. Judging by the piles of bottles by the chair, you don't usually invite guests. I prefer spending time alone. Sometimes it's hard to let the guests know it's time for them to go. If the conversation goes in the right direction, guests leave at a reasonable time. Alright, I admit it. I was the one who took the battery out of the cleaning machine. Oof, what a relief. Next time we'll be sure to laugh at your joke, but for now, let's move on to the deal. I'm sure you'll find the conditions pretty interesting. I see that you prepared your speech beforehand. I don't have an option of saying no, do I? No, that's not something you can do. The deal is simple. You get me in touch with Broker and I'll leave your head unharmed. So how come the committee's interested in me all of a sudden? Not in you, in Broker. You're worthless. You're simply the most convenient means. What makes you think I'll be eager to help you out? Typha, keep in mind that you are the most convenient but far from the only instrument in the solution to my problem. I have no idea how to get in touch with Broker. You're just gonna kill me. Well then, Broker, it looks like the time has come to put our friendship to the test. Back in business, journal updated. The wind comes from afar. It brings different scents. The bitterness of wilting grass. The smell of cooling soil. The salty dust of seawater. Then there came a day when the wind had changed. There was nothing left in the air but the ashes of unfathomable fires one had no hope of extinguishing. Now there is no more wind. The only thing left is the echoing emptiness of the metal tunnels. A space metropolis created before the war even began became mankind's only hope of salvation. Abandoned, scarred by numerous bombings, it managed to leave the planet as it writhed, dying, engulfed in flames and war. Now they're vagabonds, stuck outside time itself. Their only hope is a faraway world where they'll be able to start the history of man anew. Exiles whose memory of the past dims with each passing year, methodically recreate that which had almost destroyed their kind. I have turned into a spirit. Who's this? The only man around here. The peddler. This guy has the most boss steampunk backpack we've seen. I love that. Oh, examine monument. Look at that. Bootay! Oh, okay, so we're following this mysterious... I'm gonna catch ya! Oh, Jesus Christ, you saved my life there. Wait, was he trying to lead me into a trap? So he wants me to go down here. What is that giant hole? I feel like the lore and backstory of this game is going to be very interesting. What is that? This is almost like a forgotten civilization, isn't it? That us humans are just inhabiting the spaceship of. This is the throne. He's taking me to the throne. Yeah, he's clapping. Oh, okay. It's getting trippy now. Awakening. Oh, mate. What happened to me? Can I get up? Yeah, I can. Okay. Hello, KZ0012. 
How are you feeling? It's only been a minute, but you're up and about. Must be because you're a soldier. Looks like congratulations are in order for your successful awakening. Redden quickly scans the indicators on the monitor. I must say you've lucked out quite a bit considering the state you're in after the accident. You're looking rather fresh. Accident? What are you talking about? You've managed to survive a blast in limb. K7. I'm just going to call him K7. Several hundred dead, many more injured. You're going to find more about the accident later. How long do I have to stay here? According to your readings, you'll bounce back soon enough. This is a somewhat atypical situation for a rough awakening. You've been very lucky. In different circumstances, I'd recommend that you stay in this chamber for another week. But at this moment, the state needs each and every one of us. I suppose I can tell Dr. Roke that you're feeling ready for line scanning. Well, I see no point in dragging it out. Dr. Roke is expecting you. When you leave the chamber, make a right and go all the way to the end. Okay. What is going on? Awakening. So I'm like one of these people that's been asleep in these capsules. Alright, let's go to the end of here then. Like you said, follow those directions. Get out of my way, patient. I'm still getting visions from these other people. And some of these other patients seem to be completely out of it. You're trying to catch the patient's eye in a few seconds. He centers his dim gaze on you, awkwardly bending his wrists. How's it going? <laughs> a cynical smile breaks out across the man's face, though it doesn't seem to be meant for you. Are you okay? The man rubs his eyes with his wrist, as if trying to wipe oily film off his cornea. Okay, doesn't seem to be very well. <clears throat> I'm listening. May I ask you a couple of questions? Is everything okay with this man? Not many, as you can see. The blast caused a swing which rebooted his Delta module system, hence his spontaneous wakening. Dr. Roke believes he'll recover in a week. This kind of case is common these days, okay? Let's go in. This is trippy. What's in this container? So I was looting, oh, give me the medicine. I was looting all this stuff for no reason. I'm listening. What's behind this door? Quarantine block. Clearance level 6. I doubt you're even level 2, so please step away from the door. <laughs> Grade G. Aha! This is the man. Ah, oh, come right in, KZ. Yes, how are you feeling? Fine and dandy, thank you. Fantastic! Well, you are now standing on the very line scanner that seems to be the subject of quite a few dark and scary rumours. Of course, you and I both know that the rumours thrive on ignorance, don't we? The line scanner will put together a detailed assessment of your physical and mental condition. Are you ready to begin? I don't seem to have any other option. <laughs> oh, don't make us out to be dictators. It's not like we're dentists here. He chuckles. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so I get to choose my class. My name is not Elliot, it's Danny. Oh, okay. Oh my god. What should we- what class should I play? Okay, I'm gonna read everything here. BRB. Okay, guys, so I just flicked for everyone. Each character has a different backstory and can relate to different people in the game differently. There's different classes, they give you a boost to the different skills at the start of the game, clearly. So you've got a harlot who's basically the stealth character, a thing master, who is an expert mechanic and also works with explosives, a ordinator, which is basically like your melee combat boy, and then the tector. I don't really understand this guy completely, but he seems to be a very interesting one with a very different playstyle. The only skill I don't really understand is learning. I'm not so sure what that does. Maybe it makes him learn things faster i guess the jager uses the weapons it's kind of interesting actually i kind of want to play the jager because he's mastered the use of firearms and tends to use light equipment soldiers with this specialization usually serve on the front lines and are well versed in internal culture of high rank diversion soldiers and officers so we can change his skin color here there's a whole different variety. I want to be, like, completely pale. Oh my god, there's some funny faces. Haha! <laughs> it says there are seven beards, but currently it doesn't look like they are. I don't think they've added those in. Hair color. Can I be ginger? Yes, there we go. Oh, okay, I can spin him around. So what tattoo do I want? That one looks quite cool. So, Jager, uh, and we can do, yeah, let's, let's finish him off. Let's make him. There we go. 
You are feeling dizzy. You wobble, feeling as if your chest cavity is being filled with hot cement. Thank you, KZ. This session is over. My name's Danny. What do you think? That was unusual, but I'm all right. I admit I was expecting a far more depressing scene. After all, your condition had been extremely grave for 14 days straight. You should be grateful to your body for its tenacity. It seems that you're ready to continue service. I'll send the results to general headquarters and you can get your assignment. The doctor freezes in front of the terminal screen for a few seconds. Done. You've been assigned to the close radius to the Azagraz military base. If you still have questions, Redden will provide further instructions. You are free to go, KZ. Okay, have a good one, Doc. Look at my little tattoo, it looks great. Everyone's just staring at me. You got doctors, paramedics. This room is nuts. Let's get me out of here. Right, let's talk to the doctor who's waiting outside for us. How did your diagnosis go? According to the base, you've been assigned as Raz Military Garrison Sector D. The magnetic road station is in the entry hall at the end of the hallway. Do you have any questions? I spent 14 days unconscious and you're discharging me just like that? Well, let's put it this way. Now is not the time to allow soldiers to stay in their beds having a light read. The line scanning test was successful, thus there is no reason to keep you here. I've already sent a recommendation to add all the medications necessary for your quick recovery to your food rations. Why am I being sent back to close radius? Sector D is a troubled area at the moment. The state of emergency has unleashed unrest. HQ is expanding the close radius garrison. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to join the hunt for the limb firework perpetrate. An honorable mission. Let's find the, the railway. Can I go through here? Patient, step away from the door. What's behind this door? Lim. This segment is close proximity, the site of the incident. I've been ordered to shoot to kill, so keep your distance. What is Lim? Not so long ago, you were on the other side of this, breathing peacefully in your big sleep. It doesn't seem like you've entirely recovered from having awakened yet. Go back to your ward. What's behind this door? <laughs> Can I ask him again? No. Fine, I'm leaving. Yeah. He's not going to tell me, is he? Let's be honest. Oh wow, there's a whole room here. They're working on other patients. The amount of detail in all these little terminals and stuff and what's going on. Oh my god. This guy is in the body bag. I guess some people who uh, don't don't recover from it, you know? Oh, this must be the train, I guess. I'm still getting these creepy ass visions. This must be like the other alien race or whatever they're meant to be. Look at these doors opening. God, that looks cool. Okay, so let's get transported. Yes. That guy's just drinking a beer there. <laughs> I look so depressed. <laughs> Here we are. The door is opening. We have arrived. Register. Hey, can I help you? Um, where can I find my gear? Go to the Intendant Kelver. You need to cross the parade ground in order to find the warehouse. Walk through the hall and enter through the first door on the right. As far as one goes, the canteen is right across the warehouse. Okay, right now I still don't really have much of a clue. So these are all soldiers. These are my. Okay. We remember the dead sky. Egg rule control point officer, report the purpose of your arrival. I have the order of appointment, Sergeant. I'm from the herb. The Sergeant shoots a glance at your badge and then focuses on the database on his communicator for a while. Well, Uniter KZ. By order of Colonel Sabre, you've been assigned to Roadblock D106-23 under the command of Captain Ryber. Right now, the transport module is waiting for recruits. Oh, and don't forget to see the intendant. He'll give you your gear. Roadblock? I thought I was assigned to the base garrison. That's enough questions. <laughs> Bye. So apparently we will go down a corridor and then go to the right. And uh, that should take us to the hall where we get our gear. Oh, look at that big boy in power armor. I really want to go with that. It looks good. Oh, look, he's working on cars. Nice car, bro. Can I get through here? Oh, this one's open. Okay, there we go. Hello. Svar, who's this? I've got no time for small talk. It doesn't want to talk to me. 
So I guess we have to go through here to get our equipment. Oh, more visions. Is this where I get my gear? Yes, this is it. This looks promising. Kelver. Nodding a curt hello, the gaunt lieutenant speaks in a surprisingly high, almost childlike voice. What can I do for you? <laughs> I've arrived by appointment to pick up my gear. Kelver reluctantly turns his gaze to the terminal screen. Oh, I've been notified that your kit is ready. Affirmative, lieutenant. He's given me seven, a revolver and some broth and some ammo. 50 ammo and also some payment tokens and a grenade. That's it for me. We remember the dead sky. We remember. I guess I guess that's our thing, you know. We just shout, we remember it. Oh, okay. I'll take some extra supplies, bro. Some weapon parts and some gunpowder. Can I not sell him some stuff? I wonder if I can, because I want to sell him this stuff before I get going. Show me what you've got in the warehouse. I can. <gasps> An MG. All of that money. I might as well sell everything before I like, head out, right? All right. See you later, bro. Thanks for the, the ammo and give me all that dosh, you know? All right. Let's head back into the main hangar room then. Look at these cars, man. They look insane. They're so detailed and they're all really unique. All right, let's talk to this bro. Hello, sir. We remember the dead sky. Uniter K7. I'm looking for Captain Reaper. Right, let's skip that part. Yes, you're in the right place. And yes, we're waiting for you. Have you already been to see the intendant? Affirmative, I have. Great, take a seat in the transport module. We're moving out. Let's go. Is it just here? Yeah. Leave location, yes. Oh, nice. They got like a little animation for getting in as well. Just sit down here, chilling out. And we're off from the military base. We've got to go to the vulture's nest. Let's start traveling over there. And again, we got the timer. Oh, bypass. Your squad must go through a scarcely populated area after another turn. The transport module suddenly stops working. Something has gone wrong. Soldiers, there seems to have been a problem with the barrier system in the road. We can't go any further till the mechanic fixes it. You may go and relieve yourselves if you wish, but don't go too far. It can be dangerous out here. Yeah, let's go have a browse around. So I guess it's like a, a small civilian area. Oh, I'm still getting creepy visions. Who's this? Citizen soldier. Citizen soldier. Hey soldier, watch your back. There are tons of losers in these parts. They don't care less about your badge. Thanks for the warning, bro. <laughs> Just walk across the bridge, get robbed, get mugged by some guys. Okay, so these guys here, they looters then. Can I check? Getter. No, these guys are fine. Let's go and say hello. What are you doing here? Just like chilling out, not doing anything. Oh, I'm just gonna, you know, search this trash can. Don't mind me. What's this? An incredibly old generation computer. Ah, uh, average price 200? I'll take it, sir. I mean, 200 isn't actually a lot of money when I paid 400 for water, so... Can't go that way. Oh, one sec, who's this? Is this a bad boy? It's a marauder. Let's try and hedge on. I missed. Oh, get wrecked. Oh god, he's got a melee weapon. Oh, 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 right through the chest. <laughs> the unlucky owner of this skull is clearly killed by a well-aimed shot to the head. Well, I didn't kill him with a well-aimed shot to the head, but I sure as hell hit him once in the head. I'm going to take his skull as like, just because I'm a savage, I'm going to collect people's skulls in this game. So I guess the bad boys are this way. Can you walk and reload? You can. Okay, we've got seven shots. Another guy right there. There's a couple of guys here. Let's go for a headshot on this one. Oh, what is that? He is a big... Whoa. This game is unforgiving with the combat. There's a reason you probably should just run off alone and try and kill everyone. Holy crap. He wasn't messing around, was he? He, like some big boss man, just walked out and was just like, boom, you're dead.
get wrecked. All right, round two, here we go. Prepare to get wrecked. Boom. Get wrecked, son. Oh, you want to try and kill me again? No, that's not going to hit me, mate. Better start backing off. Hey, get destroyed. Oh, no, no, no. There's more people. More people. Back off, back off, back off. Oh, God. Oh, God. He does a lot of damage. Please help me, guys. Please. He just stopped smoking. He's like, I'm coming. Yeah, that's it. Get wrecked, sir. Who is he shooting at now? I thought there was another guy there. Jesus. Give me your gunpowder. Oh, man. That's close. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa. He's got a big gun. He's got a big gun. Need to heal myself. Need to heal myself. He's still shooting at me. Can I shoot him from here? He's getting merely to death by my boy. Oh, I need to reload. That's why. Please don't kill me. He's just... <laughs> Come on, we got him. We got him, we got him. He's a dead man. Thank God for that, that was close. Well, that plan didn't go to plan, but uh, hey. We killed him. He's got two health things, which I, to be honest, I need now. Okay, let's save the game quickly. I think the key with this game is lots of saves. Give me your manky old boots. Thank you. And what were you holding then? You had the cranium. You have some ammo. Okay, can't put it on top of each other. No worries. What's going on inside this room then? Because you're all sitting here doing something. Connect the parts in the indicated square by left clicking and clicking on the mouse. Uh, what the hell? Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. So there's an order at the top there and you've got to follow it. So square, I, I, this, square, triple, okay. This is really fun as, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, did it, did it. This is fun. I like these mini games. They're really good. They're really good. Should I go? What? Okay, so I turn on the generator. Maybe actually that's that's fixed the thing, the problem we had downstairs. Don't know if I can look down there. Oh yeah, look, the roadblock's gone now. So I can actually go back downstairs. Let's go down here. I don't know if there's more enemies down here. I'm just going to YOLO and walk down. I can't see anything right now. Oh, okay, this is mysterious. Let's go, let's go for sneaky mode here. Execute? Why would I do that to him? Oh, what is that? Oh no, I hate bugs. Oh god, please. Whoa, what is going on? I'm getting some strange visions here. Oh, once I've unlocked some new skills, I didn't realize. Okay. Acrobatic seems pretty damn good. It gives me a plus 50% defense to close combat gunshots and explosion. Right, here we go. Let's take him out. Get wrecked, Locust Scum. Oh, okay, there's some other. It's like we're following. This creepy ghostly image or story of something. Can I not loot them? No. I don't even know how much experience they gave me, to be honest. Probably nothing. Let's go back upstairs and head back to the car, then. Here we are. Hello, boys. What took you so long, soldier? We don't know what happened, but the problem seems to have gone away on its own. I was the one who solved it. All right, let's go. Leave location, yes. I hope my health regens. I don't know. It might not. Let's go, boys. Continue on traveling to the vulture's nest now. Hopefully we get there in one piece this time. What's the matter, newbie? Hall asked a Captain Rebel with a report. Take the elevator across the bridge. Then when you reach the hall, go through the door to your right. His office is in the corner. Yes, sir. Let's do that, then. I guess I can craft here. All right, let's go up here. 
access the elevator. I guess this means cool elevator. I can hear it. Oh yeah, here it comes, here it comes. Reminds me a little bit of like Bioshock, the vibes of that door. Oh, I love this. It looks cool. Alright, go up. Oh, a little TV channel to watch as well. Very nice. Only one of them works, but hey, appreciate the effort. It's so old school, isn't it? Like, the style of this game, and just got so much detail going on all around you. Okay. So we've got to go across the bridge. The captain's office is on the right-hand side, apparently. This place is huge, though. Oh, Jesus Christ! I thought I was getting attacked, but I'm having visions still. These spooky visions keep haunting me. Oh, hello. This is where the captain's office should be. Just casually pumping his mind. Avel fills a pipe with cryoma tobacco and hums a tune. Are you looking for someone, soldier? So you decided to light a pipe after training, eh? Good choice. You're a bit of a joker, aren't you? I'm on duty here. Yeah, yeah. In the gym facility. This administration has sure that the iron weights don't get stolen and sold as scrap. What's the most important thing for a man on duty? To make sure the dumbbells are back in their spots and the log is up to date. It's very true. Have you ever been to the gym? So annoying when people don't put the dumbbells back. Are you serious? He definitely is. Idiot, are you alright? Stand back and don't distract me from watching the lower level. What do people do for fun around here? If you like beating people up, take a walk around the residential neighbourhood. <laughs> I prefer to spend my time in the second win. That's the local uh, pastry shop. You can also check out Black's Bookstore. Can you tell me what's going on near the range? The world is obviously going to the dogs. No use trying to figure out why, you'll only end up knee deep in shit. Rebels everywhere. It's time the government actually governed this dump. What do you think the reason is? The committee is trying to snatch control of the autonomy council with an explosion in Lim. Their people are everywhere. Where do they get so many resources? The council allocates millions to enhance the security and investigations. It looks like the ordinate is done. We'll be disbanded in less than a year. Let's hope for the best. All right. Okay, let's head into the captain's uh, office now. The captain looks you up and down as you salute. At ease, soldier. Let's not waste time on formalities. I've already read your personal case history. What do people normally say in such cases? Welcome to the Ordinate's military outpost. D10123. This place is more often referred to as the Vulture's Nest, though. I'm starting my presentation by humbly introducing myself. Captain Derek Rebel, commander of the 52nd Operational Company. You've been drafted just in time. We've been a real mess for two weeks now. The sector has been a power keg since the state of emergency was imposed. I'm guessing you've already figured out what we're going to do here. Allow me to explain. The committee imposed a state of emergency after the turmoil in the herb. Locals are rather troubled. Why there are no military posts, crowds of street urchins that have begun to gather, tearing down everything in their way. The committee, I thought that... Rebel interrupts you mid-sentence with a calm gesture. He continues his talk for a short pause. Our current objective is to facilitate the committee's search for revolutionaries to ensure safety within the sector. Your personal objective is to follow orders in full obedience and at the time to time learn how to use your own brains in my absence. Sometimes these may be hard to combine, but you'll have to learn to do it. Do I make myself clear? Affirmative, Captain. In any case, experience will quickly set things right. A few words about your living arrangements. You'll be provided with a bed, locker, and a set of personal belongings. You now have three minutes to chat with me on a friendly footing, which means that you can ask me questions without adding my rank after every word. This is an order. Rebel's eyes look as though he's sw smiling warmly. Report on the situation. What do you want to know? The committee. I didn't know the black cloaks ever ventured outside the herb. I'm less than thrilled myself that we have to deal with them once again. They did come out their hole and their uniforms dirty, so to speak. 
But so far, all they've done is give us orders and shake the ash from their cigarette. Do they even have the authority to give orders within the closed radius? Something in Russian? Officially, they're searching for renegades. However, their real goal always remains a mystery. No more questions. Well, it looks like someone's been trained well. Although, I guess that'll save us some time for orders. I've got a mission for you. Zone B10 has just requested reinforcements. A crowd of getters has gathered around the roadblock demanding that deliveries of, of food supplies be resumed. Lieutenant Yava requests immediate support from the neighboring garrison. She's an experienced commander, which is why I'm letting you go with a clear conscience. I'm about to send you to the coordinates to block post B-10-2. Now go there and report to Lieutenant Yava. Affirmative, Captain. Can I take this book? Interesting. Probably some lore about the game. This guy has a beastly shield with a target on, so... You know where to shoot. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the vulture's nest then. If we continue down here, apparently this is... Okay, lunch is over. I won't put anything else on my plate. Play along. Could it be that there's something left? I can scrape up a few leftovers from porridge. Hmm, I guess I'm not that hungry. Can I not eat some free stuff? I risked my life for the front line, and as a thank you, I'm supposed to go without lunch? Oh, because my backstory, I can use this option. Okay. Oh, there's at least 30 other heroes here, such as yourself. All right, I'll check. Perhaps someone didn't finish their meal. Lucky you. Look, an entire Omniburger free for the defender of the nation. Go on, take it as go. Thank you. I got a free burger. Yes. Turn off this radio and just trigger everyone. Does that even... Wow, she's actually going to buy this skull with a bullet hole. I'll exchange that, yes. All right, let's head out and carry on exploring. We haven't spoken to this guy, have we? Awkwardly leaning on her leg, the young woman is saying something aside. I'm sick of all this. Hey, what are you looking at? Can't you see I'm not in the mood? Oh, I can be like... I can use my... Uh, my background again. Keep it together. I've been hurt on the front line too once. Yeah, you just arrived from Earth. Combat training all over the near range. I had to get acquainted with both the local customs and their fangs of various wild beasts. And you know beans as I see. Have a look at what I've managed to get from Sancho. A new series of 8.92 cartridges. Want some? Go ahead. Take these babies. Pierce armor like butter. Easy. She's given me 15 armor-piercing cartridges. It's pretty good. Okay, so where do we need to go? Let's go down to the left here and start exploring down here. I searched this trash, and no, I can't. Hello there. So, we need to go to checkpoint B10Z. It's not too far from where we were previously. We were over here somewhere, actually. So hopefully we don't get attacked on the way. Just a floating piano here in space. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Stop. Let's go and see what's going on with this roadblock. Oh my god. Jesus. It's been uh, this hot for some time now. Through Civil War. There's more to come. What do they want? Go figure. They're yelling something. Who knows what? I'm trying to out shout one another must be hungry so they yell maybe we need to at least listen to what people have to say just look at them do they look like people at all no business of ours for that matter we don't see the big picture so leave it to headquarters to decide hey jesus there are some angry guys in that crowd man i assume the lieutenant is just up this ladder here lieutenant yava views the crowd sadly without turning her head we remember the dead sky, reporting as ordered by Captain the Bell. We remember. It could burst any single day here. Punks from the slums are all hyped up and won't pipe down. Headquarters ordered use of weapons, only as a last resort. It seems that the moment will be here soon enough. What do they want? They're hungry, but they won't be getting any food now. Herb has been feeding these sponges almost for free solely to keep some kind of order in the trouble zone B-27. However, after the terrorist attack in Lynn, no one will go soft on them. An historic moment now torturing the slums can totally be sanctioned. What's changed after the terrorist attack in Lynn? Area B-27 has always been an abscess, but it's been boiling in its own juice. So the authorities put this matter off until quite recently. 
After the attack, food supplies were drastically cut. It's only a state of emergency after all. <laughs> if you collect the sand we've taken out of their kidneys, you can make a small beach. Area B27. Pretty vast enclave on the edge of the close radius. It's considered to be an unidentified status area, meaning that anyone can live there if they want to. Those slums are like a giant beehive. Set me a task there. Everything's in order here at the positions, but there's something else. We need to see what's going on in the lower tunnels. We didn't have time to seal off all the passages, and I've already sent Sergeant Kras there. He's going to need some help. The entrance to the tunnels is through that door on the right. The soldiers will realize the lock now. Oh, they'll release the lock now. If you encounter any resistance, you can shoot to kill. Yes, sir. Savage confirmed. Thank you, soldier, for releasing the door. I'm going to sit here and drink myself. I'm going to have to be a bit more sneaky this time so I can conserve health because I'm, like, really running out of things to use here. There we go. Those things heal up a lot of health. All right, let's go down into the tunnels. See what we find here. I assume they're on our team. They are dressed in our uniforms, so... That must be the captain. Oh, I got a grenade down here as well. Extra grenades, always nice. And some extra ammo. Container, what's inside here? Nothing that amazing, just some circuits. Let's go and have a chat to the captain then. This is it. I thought the lieutenant would send me at least five soldiers. Hmm, I won't insist I'm worth 10 men. <laughs> it would be great if you came for at least one of them. You see, we have a Sergeant North towards a soldier lying on the ground. What's the plan, Sergeant? My people have to go ahead to inspect the tunnels. Go and find them, and I'll deal with this guy in the meantime. All right, let's go. Oh! Fucking hell. Literally scared the crap out of me. I did not realize that was a mine. Holy crap, bro. You said a soldier's gone ahead. Right, I reloaded because, to be honest, health is pretty hard to come by in this game. Let me see if I can actually dispatch this mine. E. D mine. Oh my god, what is this? There's a mini game to stop the mine. Here. Oh my god. Find a hidden spot in the circle by turning the slider with the mouse and clicking the closer the frequency of the display waves. The closer the target spot. Okay. What? Okay, so I've got to match the frequency of the waves. Nope. Oh, just here. Oh, I did it. Okay, that was quite easy. Explosive charge. So this is material for making explosive weaponry. That's cool. Good -o. Oh god! Oh, I thought that was still a mine. I literally walked over it. Oh man, there's so many of them here. Let's try again. You ready? Alright, I did it. It's actually not too hard to do. And I'm getting a lot of explosive material from demining it. But I'm going to be very careful now. What is that on the door? Oh, so I can open the sluice. Requires computer level 4, though. I need to remember which mines I've already demined. Oh, okay, there's another one. They, did, they don't stand out. Oh, what? Ready. Oh, my God. It's so scary. It scares me every time. Like, my heart is literally racing. I think the mini games are really good in this game. We've done a really good job. There's so many mines, though. I'm scared. Oh, my God. Look how close it was. It's so hard to see. Let's go. Oh, man. It's... Please stop it. Don't put any mines. There's so many here. Why do you need so many mines? God damn it. There's a container. Some old books. Maybe I can sell that to the library guy. They're worth 100. And some chemicals. For making medicines, gunpowder and grenades. You know, why not?
I'm saving constantly because I'm just like, how many mines are there? Oh, there's one right there. It's not too hard. I'm getting used to it, you know. You just click in a few places. I think the timer goes down a bit faster if you mess up. Look at that hole. There's another mine just here. Let's take this one down. How do the soldiers get ahead? Are they all dead or what? How do they get past the mines? Look, one sec. This is worth 100. I have 1,800 worth of, like, explosive material from defragging these mines here. There we go. It's okay if you get it close first time. It's just worrying if you don't. Okay. Is this the way out? Oh, okay, okay, it's over. I don't know where that goes. Can we go this way as well? No, I can't go this way. Okay, so we got to go that way. I get my gun out. I guess I could shoot the mines. Or just the mines right there. All that money, though. Near voices up ahead. Who's that? I just saw someone run in front of me. Spooky, spooky. Oh my god, are these all bad guys? I don't actually know. Yep, they are. Oh god, hello. I need to like, uncrash. Weapon is jammed. Okay, you better reload them, bro. These guys just stand in here. Look at that guy, he's so ready to kill me. Got you. Get Rex up. There we go. One down, one down. Yeah, it's going better. Just reload quickly. I want my shotgun for this, really. Get headshot. Get headshot. What's this guy at the back doing here? Get her. Is he an enemy? Because he's, like, hiding there. I don't actually know if he's like, okay or not. Better save the game just in case. Oh dear. I'm just gonna loot him. I think he's on our team. I don't, I don't want to like shoot him if he's not. Obviously. Where's the other guy's corpse? There he is. Oh, yeah, I got some lockpicks now. That's good. Okay. So much stuffs. No, 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 don't execute him. Oh my god. Can I just talk to him? How do I put my gun away? They will pay for what they have done. You hear a stifled cough. The getter offers you his shaking hand. Hey, don't. I'm here by mistake. Don't shoot. See how it sounds, don't you? Listen, there's something more important now. Don't touch the explosives, okay? These are not the usual makeshift mines. You're okay to make one attempt, and if you fail, you'll blow up the entire roadblock. Oh yes, I see that you surely did your best. Oh my god, requires explosives too. Alright man, I guess we can't do anything. That with the explosive right now, we've got to find some of the other men. Oh, what? I missed. Damn it. I don't want to waste my ammo. <laughs> 10 out of 10 shooting here, so well done. Headshot. He's like being close to me. Get wrecked. I can see some explosive cartons down here, so I'm thinking maybe... I can use that. Oh shit. Oh man, whoa, whoa, that damage, Jesus Christ. 
Whoa, that was close. Point blank shooting. I don't know if the other guy got killed or not. Still there. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Let me reload. He's aiming right at me. Oh, the little jump up there just to get him down. I'm spending way more ammo than they're giving me. That is not good. I tried to blow up this cylinder on him, but it didn't really have any effect. Oh, there we go. The headshot. Get Rex up. What is this? A pipe? Yeah, 50. That's going to buy back half a round of ammo, bro. I need something better than that. 250. I'll take it. Explosives. There's so many explosives here. Maybe I can just drink this right now. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, okay, what's going on? Sev. Oh, printed circuit board. Oh, okay, I thought maybe he'd have a key. He has a grenade, though, so that can come in handy later. Well, there's lots of explosives that I can't actually get rid of. So my explosive skill isn't high enough. Can I loot that box? No. I want to be careful while going down this other corridor here. Let's quickly reload my gun. Oh, I can see a guy just down there, actually. Oh, no, it wasn't a guy. It was like an explosive barrel. I swear to God it moved, though. Oh, shiza. No, no. Oh, God, why is my weapon jamming? Jesus Christ. Man, this game's so intense. What is this? Standard rounds. Okay, give me that. Oh, Jesus Christ. There was another boy down the corridor there. Don't know where he went. I can see a guy down there, though, so hopefully I can, like, walk closer and fit. Oh, hello. Headshot. Oh, I missed. Got you. Get wrecked. I'm worried. I'm running out of ammo here. And I'm not, like, firing off in different directions or anything. That's a melee guy, isn't it? Oh, God. Let's have a look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's, what's going on there? Run away. Run away. What is that? Why is it smoking? That doesn't look good at all. Surely that can't be okay. Should I view this? Just search it casually. Just ignore the fact that that's steaming now. A lunchbox. I wish I could eat that. I'm going to take this teapot as well, you know. I'm getting desperate for money. I need to buy some more meds and stuff, you know. Standard casing. Give me that. Oh, one sec. Oh, I can't open it. God damn it. Headshot. Oh, he's got a machine gun. He's got a machine gun. Holy crap. Let me hide behind this explosive, explosive canister. Sounds good. My weapon's durability is like almost out as well. I can't be any more accurate. I, I can't really walk closer to it. It's a bloody machine gun. Oh god. I literally have a few shots left. And my weapon is about to break, so. He's dead, thank god. 
Oh, bloody hell, there's another guy here. Dead. I don't really know what I can do. I can go upstairs and buy myself a shotgun because I clearly need one. I think I should do that. Guys, I came back to buy a shotgun and they've locked me in. <laughs> they, they've locked me in here until I finish the mission. They won't let me leave. It's like, you will do this soldier or you will die. He's almost dead this time. Oh God, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh! Jesus Christ, you almost killed me. Oh, bloody hell. I am sweating. Oh, it's a mine there. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so dumb. No, please. Don't kill me! Ah! Oh my god, I've just survived him. Just survived. By the skin of my teeth. Now this time, let's not get killed by the mine. In fact, let's heal ourselves. That would be a good idea. And then let's deal with this mine. Look at it, it's so hard to see. There we go. We're good. I'm a pro at dealing with these mines now. Man, I can't wait to buy a shotgun. For close proximity battles. Hack the system, sluice. No, I'm not going to hack it. I've got this ID card that I picked up that allows me to hack stuff. But to be honest, I don't really need to use it right now. Wait, what was that sound? I thought I heard some explosives. Just got no ammo after this. It's like game over. Okay, okay, there's some health here. Oh, wow, I needed that so bad. Do I just jump down there? Really? Have I got... Okay, I'm going to save the game here. Wish me luck. Oh, you can't go down that way. How do I get round then? So hack the system. Oh, so I am meant to be able to hack this. Okay. Let's continue over here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yes, yes, yes. Easy. I love the hacker team. It's so good. I really want to play more of this game. I'm enjoying it a lot. And it's hard. It's like Dark Souls difficulty. Wait, are those my boys? Save the game again. Save the game again. I'm so, like, done with this area. Please. Oh, it's shutting behind me, okay. Oh, D mine. Jesus Christ, I almost stepped on it again. Okay, there we go. It's D mine. Oh, okay. What's down here anyway? Another container? Oh, with another ID card, that's good. This place is covered in mines. You guys are friendly, yeah? You look friendly. Thank God. Man. Hey, one more step and I'll blow you up the roadblock. This young man is still clutching the detonator tightly in his hand. He's trembling violently and his voice sounds muffled, as if his mouth was full of dirt or something. Put that thing on the floor, hands behind your head, now. Raise hands. You see everything's fine. Now tell him what's going on here. Let's play along. You can see that the guy has not yet made up his mind what to do next. What are you trying to achieve? Oh, what's his name? The younger rebel is looking at you defiantly. They call me Gava. Listen, Gava, we can work it out, but only together. The young man smiles nervously. His voice sounds more confident. I heard your staff's discussions. The garrison is ready to shoot at the rally unless I blow away the entire roadblock. There'll be a bloodbath up top. Do what you want, scumbag, but you'll never break free from the isolator. If you blow up the roadblock, will you be any different from those who give such orders? Yeah. I feel like he doesn't want to do this. You don't understand. People's wrath. Those people, they helped me. 
They took me from Area B27, the most hopeless place in the close radius, and I want to show my gratitude. If you do this, heavy units will immediately be dispatched to B27. They will kill everyone, you know. Put your hand on the weapon belt. Okay, let's finish it. Give me the destiny. No, I, th I think I need to talk to him because they're just going to kill me otherwise. <laughs> I have no ammo. I can't afford not to talk to him. Grasping for air convulsively, Gavar slowly removes his thumb from the detonator. The metal cylinder falls on the floor with a desperate dig. Okay, they're surrendering. Oh, what? My squad suddenly caught up. How? God damn it, guys. Where were you? I needed you desperately. Gun, please. What's in here? Oh, pick the lock. Okay, we can try this. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. And this one goes around. Boom. This one. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I don't think the lock picking game is as good as the other stuff, but it works, it's fine. They've done something unique for each thing, which I think is, like, pretty awesome. I don't know how I changed my weapon ammo, but I feel like I've got none left. Okay, let's go and talk to the uh, commander. Tell him I did everything for him. Bloody bastards. Unita, go back to the lieutenant now. Take the stairs ahead of you. Don't worry about your guy. We'll take care of him. I'm sure he will. God, that was intense, man. I can't wait to sell all my explosives. Buy some cool weapons and stuff. What's this panel? Oh, one sec. There's a hammer. Take hammer. Can I actually use that as a weapon? Oh, sweet. Now I have a close combat weapon. Perfect. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. What's going on out there? Jesus. Everyone's dead? They killed everyone. Holy crap, that is savage. Another teacup. What? This guy did have food. Why is he here protesting? Okay, let's have a chat to this bro here. Gal. Gal looks squeamishly at the street covered in dead. What happened? Why did they open fire? The rogue stormed the barricades and Lieutenant Yarbrough allowed the use of weapons. Now keep this in mind. Looting corpses is forbidden. If you decide to do it, just do as we do and keep your head down. Oh! Uh... LOL, I just looted everyone's corpse. Unita, Sergeant Krez told me about what happened in the tunnels. You have shown your worth. I will be sure to report back to Captain Rebuild about your good service. Who are those radicals? We encountered them not long ago, near Area B-27. They call themselves People's Wrath. You open fire on peaceful marches. The situation started to get ugly. Unfortunately, the time for showing lenience to guessers was over. You probably can't tell from my appearance, but I don't like shooting people. Come on, stop whining. Go and see the quartermaster Merrick. He's got something for you. And then get back to the station. We remember the dead sky. We remember. We remember. All right, let's go and talk to the quartermaster. See what he has for us. Lieutenant Yarva sent me to you to pick up my reward. Yes, Lieutenant warned me. Uh, well, this package is for you. Thank you. 500. And two health things. Two grenades. Well, to be honest, it's not bad. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first hour and a bit of Insomnia. If you did, please go ahead and check out their Steam page. It's linked down below in the description. You can also check out their website as well. They actually have a beta sign up at the moment before the game comes out. So if you're like really, really keen on getting access, go and sign up for their beta as well, especially if you've like reached the end of the video and you're definitely keen in checking out more. If you guys want to see another episode, definitely give the video lots of likes. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see another one. Because personally, I'm really enjoying this game and I think it's fantastic. This is definitely the kind of old school roleplay game that I love. It's everything that I love from the older Fallout games that I felt like they lost in Fallout 4. Even though it's definitely a different style of game with it being third person instead of first person. I still feel like it was really immersive and interesting and the game world is so different and unique and they've done a lot of stuff with it. And I especially like the combat system because it was difficult and challenging 
And to be honest, I think I have to investigate the crafting system a lot more. And I feel like there's a lot there to sort of delve into. And I know they're going to be putting a lot of decisions in the game based on your backstory and things that can really change the narrative of the story and how and which direction it goes. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Obviously, they're still improving some aspects of the game, so I'm sure they'll listen to your feedback in the comment section and what you have to say. But thanks very much for watching me, ESO. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can also join me as well, which is basically a sponsorship of the channel. You get some extra perks like early access to videos and also some cool behind the scenes stuff as well. But thank you very much for watching me. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.